Hey guys, it's Rottweiler back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be doing uh, a video on my thoughts on Sylvanos in 2023. So there are a handful of things I want to talk about with Sylvanos, uh, things I've been learning and picking up on and still learning. So the first thing I want to talk about is Beast Dash. Sylvanos' side special is a move I slept on for a long, long time, and it was mainly just due to how laggy it looks. If you don't get the hit, right, you can't cancel, you're locked into the end lag. So there's a lot of reasons why it's, it's broken. So for one, if you're at the range with side B, um, and down to will hit side B or down to hit like right here in this area, right? It's almost always better to side B if you know the move is going to land because side B keeps you close to your opponent I know I didn't get the hit there, but for example, I'll get this fair into more offstage pressure whereas that same DI like on a tipper down or down to isn't always gonna get me something guaranteed like even there uh, the fours were had time to air dodge like the startup frames that's how little frame advantage i have after getting like a down tilt but side b it's like not even a question if i'm going to get hit, get a hit because i'm so much closer to you already i don't have to now wait for whatever end lag for this down tilt to, to end and then start moving towards you i'm already here and then also this move side b what makes it broken is that it can cancel into literally anything in the game uh, that I have on my character's kit, obviously. But, like, I can do even, like, I can combo into literally anything I want. Um, which is why it's so powerful and why it's so broken. And what takes it even further is the fact that in the air, you carry all the momentum. So, there's no DI out on this move. And not only is it that broken on hit, but even on whiff, it's still really good because what I didn't take into consideration is even though it has all this end lag after you whiff, you have the grass. You can just keep going. So Vanos is in his fastest state, faster than his run, faster than his wave dash. He's in his fastest state only when he's side B. So this is faster than him running even. So this is optimal in a lot of cases. Because this and then dash attack is, is so, so honestly dash attack. In the cases where you want a dash attack, in all the cases, you want a dash attack, damn near? This is I B and said. And that combo right there, that side B down smash, has been getting me so many kills. Cause here's the thing about Sylvanos to side B. Everyone know well everyone knows that if you hold it on side B, uh, uh, he gets side B into up smash. And that'll like just kill you because up smash is broken. Um so everybody holds out, right? DI out, but I started doing this on people who DI out because I realized that not only do they DI out, but that a lot of times they tech because the DI out is sending them so low to the ground that it's kind of putting them in a really weird spot where a lot of players like tech. And because they start holding in, they usually tech roll in, and I get like the freest down smash. And that was even like, yeah, the computer that was on random. That's that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, they usually hold in. And they get down smash for free. And a lot of times that down smash just kill you at 80. Because who the fuck is ready for a down smash randomly being thrown at you after a side B tech chase read, you know? And that's when I started to realize, well, I'll get the, you know, I'll get the down smash. I don't want to get too, too far uh, off of side B right now. But side B is, is incredible as a tech chase option because um, you can cancel out of it on hit. So you're not locked into this ever. Like that was a down smash again or a, a B. Which galaxy at a hundred? Just mind you, which is crazy, and, and that's what I'm saying. This character is unfair um, in the tech chase department, obviously. But I don't think the Savanos players, and myself included, have really pushed it as far as he really can go. Side B is incredible, and then again in the air, he carries the momentum. And I promise you, if that if that force burn didn't die there, it still would have comboed into my tipper fair, which then would have killed. That's how how crazy his aerial side B momentum is. He will catch you all uh, all the eye, because I can reel back with this too. I don't have to go the whole distance, but I can if I want. It, it, it just, honestly, the fact that it keeps going in general is what makes it so safe compared to dash attack. Because when you whiff a dash attack, you're just stuck there the whole 
time, and this has relative end lag to dash attack. But again, because I can see I whiffed, but then keep going, and then even go off stage to try to recover with my my mix up options off stage, it's still going to be better than just eating the the con like the guaranteed hit from dash attack if you whiff. Like let's say he's jumping, I can make the computer jump here, right? And like, that's like the most common way people deal with Sylvanas' ground game, they just jump off the ground, right? It's obvious. So, but if I whiff, like let's say I want to go for like a down tilt as an approach option, and he, you know, assumes I'm out to approach him, so he jumps, it's down to whiffs, right? And I get, you know, whiff punished. But if I whiff side B, I'm still safe, like potentially. And even if I didn't get that flower, I'm, I'm in my fastest state, so a lot of characters, especially Forest Burn, are not going to get a guaranteed dash attack with punish from all the way over here. Like, they're not. So this move is actually so good, and it's the move that makes his grass a threat on the ground. Now I will talk about Down Smash before I forget. <laughs> Down Smash is absurdly good. It is his cheater DLC move, if you ask me. Like, it's like his, uh, Rano Fair, his Absa Up Air, uh... Olympia forward air like th th this is like one of the moves is like oh that's your DLC cheater bullshit move That's what down smash is the whole gimmick is that it twists your DI So if you're in front of me, you will go behind me, right? And if you're behind me You will go in front of me. It's the same concept as rasters down air like let that sink in It is doing the same thing that rasters down air is doing on hit Right, but it's a kill move instead of a combo move, right? And I think it's like this actually. Yeah, that's the DI. That DI happens so frequently off of a tech chase. And that happens all the time off of a tech roll specifically. Their DI is still, they're still holding that direction for longer. So if you catch them with this down smash, you get that DI. And so what's so good about Sylvanas is that he's a tech chase character. And so this side B, remember we are talking about how this side B, people want to not, you know, give you the free up smash off of D-I-N. So they tech, they, they tech, so they hold out, right? But it puts them in a tech chase scenario, and if I catch that, they can just die with down smash. That, there's so many situations that happen like that for Silvanos in general, that people just don't optimize and abuse down smash as the real punish to, to mess with the D-I. It's not supposed, like... It's not supposed to galaxy you. It's supposed to screw up your DI. So as a Silvanos player, you're supposed to be looking for situations where they're going to be having bad DI. And I don't think that Sov players, myself included, have been really labbing any of those situations enough. Or, or even like just recognized those situations enough to where you know you get down smash to kill. So jab special. This is my favorite move on the character. It has been... Uh, ever since jab special was actually his forward tilt. They gave it the ability to leave down grass Right it leaves grass behind I we all knew that was good But I don't think we all knew why and what makes this good outside of oh just side B now huh? Uh, no what makes this broken is that I now have access to every every tech option is covered forever the, the fact that jab special now releases grass across the entire stage means that as a starter, I cover every option. This does 17 damage if everything connects on the jab jab and the special and then the pedal wave. So that's a lot of damage as an opener. And then, because it lays down grass, I realized that Howl is the perfect follow-up. If you really think about it, because if I stand still, let's have him tech roll in, right? I cover it. Because a lot of times people do, just want to tech roll into Sylvanos because it's his weak spot. He has a weakness if you are on top of him. So in like the, the hecticness of a match, people will often just tech roll in and pray that they can jab into him and get, get him off of them. And then turn their disadvantage into their advantage state because Sylvanos can't box you off of him. So a lot of times, I like to just do this and then just stand still and then cover the option. Like the fact that you can layer it like that off of Jazz Special is what makes Jazz Special so broken. Cause it, it requires a lot of counterplay to even parry and get out of this. You have to like no tech and parry to get the parry on Jazz Special. And sometimes you still have to be like in a specific spot where you got to start getting hit by it 
for you to actually still get on the ground and parry it. So sometimes this jazz special is just too much to really deal with a lot of the time. And, and also to deal with it consistently is a problem for most people too. Because I've seen people deal with it once and I'm like, oh, nice. You know how to deal with that. That's pretty good. And I'll do it four more times and they, they can't do it again because it's that hard to consistently do it. So this move is so good that I can layer this on top of it. And the thing about this is that if, if they don't tech, I'm going to always start off with this. Right? Just, to, just to, to see if you even know. All right, it's to see if you even tech. Because if you don't tech, the howl is going to hit. Right? So Jazz Special is so broken as a starter. Next is this up B. I'm tired of this up B um, not being talked about. And not being used and I mean that for myself this this video is not for only for you guys it's also for me I don't know how I have a move this strong in my kit and I'm not finding ways to land this move this move is so broken so I've been kind of leading on the howl the whole video but uh, howl is so broken it is it is actually such a shame this this needs to be a move that's like wow this is this is nerf this like people should be saying that because this move is that good and it's so sad uh what makes how broken for one is that it's all i said this once again i said it once i said it again it's all a disjoint how oh. disjoint 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 look at all that disjoint it's just disjoint on disjoint so you can't trade with it at all. So Sylvanos, who is, you know, very notorious for having really bad trades because he has a lot of multi-hit moves. And if you interrupt the multi-hit, uh, you go nowhere, but he takes the full knockback of your attack. So like if Forrest burned down here at me in the middle of my up air, I, he would hit get hit by up air one, which has essentially no knockback, right? But I would get hit by that down air, which would send me flying. So Sylvanos is not really like a, a character that likes trades because he has so many multi-hit moves, right? So having Howl is be a completely disjointed, um, I don't even have to trade. I can't trade. We can't never trade. But yeah, Howl, uh, the thing about it that makes it so crazy is that they actually changed Howl. And I say change and not nerf because even though it was perceived as a nerf uh, when it got changed, it's actually a buff. And I, it took me a, lot of, a long time to realize why it's a buff. So before, Howl used to just instantly it activate all grass at once immediately which made it imp impossible to parry it, you were not you were never going to parry that on reaction it all basically if you were up close to him that's that's how fast all the grass came up but i argue that it's actually better now how they made it like edilus now it's like it goes up as a wave and not like simultaneously because the the howl is getting to you later sylvanos is going to like it's, it's like the same concept with like a, a late hit nair or a late hit projectile it's like okay now that this is hitting you um this late i've already like finished the end lag of my attack so now i have like more freedom to hit you with something more devastating and that's kind of how how it works now so i have way more time to actually land a lot more disgusting things and one of those things is down smash like we were saying before this is a broken move uh at the end of a tech chase it's not going to be as potent off of a howl because it's more time to react but it's still powerful because it can still screw up the eye how just makes it so everything is easier and here's the thing about how now uh, they made it so that root animation doesn't last as long as it used to it used to last far longer than that and what I'm getting at here is again I was talking about jab special how as a starter and I got into a conversation with Giga about this because he was saying that I was using too much jab special how and I wasn't able to like, you know, use the age control. I'm like, I don't know if he's realizing this or if he knows this, but by the time my combo ended, I had more grass on the stage because of the buff. So you get situations like this quite often now. Jab, jab, special, howl, nair, up air one, down air, nair, down air. Look at the grass, nair, okay? And it's back, like I'm, it's alive again. It's already back, it's already here. And so if I tech chase you again, I can do it again. So using Jazz Special Howl isn't even like a like a waste because it if you actually use the move as how it's supposed to be used, you'll get it back. They just wanted you to be more aggressive with. They actually reward you for being for for using your grass aggressively now because they don't want. It makes so much sense when you think about it because Sylvanos got nerfed in ways that nerfed his broken i throw up a seed it puts grass everywhere and now i'm throwing f tilt uh jazz special waves across the stage that's what he used to do 
And Neighbor's like, that's lame as hell. Let's make it so the grass does not cover the entire stage from one flower. He now has three flowers because we want him to be more mobile and not just sit in the corner and throw up seeds and wet and petal waves. He's more aggressive and they reward your, your aggression uh, with Howl and your, and your specials with more grass to keep going. And that's how I look at him now. You can just get so many howls in a Sylvanos combo if you actually do like the like the the blender. The blender lasts so long that the grass will come back. And that's what I'm like, we, we're not abusing this enough. And then also, like, once I realized the combo was getting closer to the end, uh, and that grass is still not back, right? I'll just fucking down smash you off stage. And that might kill you because DI, right? Or it just gives me stage control for my grass to come back by the time you come back. So it's like use again, they want you to use how aggressively you're, you should be spending your grass. That's the point of putting it down. You should be using it. The thing about him is that he's not intuitive at all. Sylvanos looking at a character like this is not, at least in my opinion, he, he's not very straightforward at, at all. His forward tilt and his neutral B. These are broken and they're broken because the seed is broken. And, the, and then also this neutral B, um, the fact that you can move while the seed is active is insane because it allows for a lot of new neutral uh, gameplay to be had now because now he can do mix ups like I know this sounds kind of this looks kind of crazy, but you know, he can bite the seed in mid air now, which actually is good. It's actually good as a mix up because if people do not want to approach you as Silvanos, you're not limited anymore to just run up fair and down tilt and side B. You can be very patient. You don't have to go whenever. You can start throwing them off with the timing. And here's the biggest broken part about this in my opinion. You don't know where they're coming because if you actually play like this, right? And you start throwing seeds above the blast zone. This is one of the few per things in the game that don't that doesn't have like an indicator of where it's at. So like Absolute Cloud it would tell you where it's up there, but or where it is. Crag Crag Pillar would tell you, oh it's over here off screen, but there's nothing to help you tell you where these are coming. I don't have to throw it to you. I can throw it behind me to the left. I can throw it above me and it'll come straight down as like a as cover. Like I can do it like over here and now it's going towards you. So, like, it's, it's so many things like I can do with this. And then also once again, I can mix up while you're thinking about this, a side B. I'm, I'm not very good with this yet. I gotta, I gotta get better with this. This is something I gotta get. This is what I'm talking about though. Like it's a mix up and mix ups are all you need. You just need mix ups. It doesn't have to be broken in every aspect to be usable. And then F tilt is broken because it is Sylvanos's, in my opinion, it is his best approach when he does not have grass. So side B is good if you have grass on the other side of the stage because you can just keep going, right? Obviously, right? So if you whiff, you're not as punished. We talked about that earlier. But if you don't have grass over there, obviously you will be punished because now you will suffer all that end lag. But for tilt is really fucking good because it's a projectile that overshoots for you. And that's a big thing because Sylvanos doesn't like to be on top of people. Down to is broken, right? All this range, it's very broken. But it has counterplay in the fact that it only is broken in this in this area, like low to the ground. This is where it shines. F tilt hits above that. It's the blind spot. Look, it's literally the blind spot. Edilus is have constantly tried to nair at me because they just jump over this down tilt and they hit me. But you can't just do that to the seed. The seed is arcing in that in that weak point. So this is so good. And then on parry, down tilt will put me in a stun. F tilt sometimes won't even hit me back. <laughs> and if it hits me back, I'm already DI'ing down and away to tech. Like I have more defensive options. I don't just have to sit there and parry and be like, damn, I gotta eat this F is forward air or this F smash. Like I, I can just I can move, I can DI, I can I can tech roll, I can do I have things I can do to protect myself even though they parried my seed, right? And if it hits, they're stuck in the seed. So this forward tilt at max range is insanely strong. It's so safe. I mean yeah they're gonna be some times where people hit you through the seed because it's a projectile and they lose to attacks. That will happen. But I don't think that invalidates the move in general because you can control so much area with it. The risk reward for getting this dealt with is a lot worse in my opinion than getting this dealt with. In my opinion, solely because the parry option is far less um, punishing than the down tilts. It fucks people's DI and, and not in like the sense of down smash where it twists your DI, but in the sense that it locks you into place. That, four hits, da 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 da, <laughs> that's eight damage, 
And if you get hit by the tail, it's uncheckable and it's extra 3% and it combos into the seed, by the way. So it's 11% and um, the seed does not let you move for the for 90% of situations. There are some situ some jank situations where they'll be able to tech off the ground, but in most situations, which, which are the things that matter, um, you will be locked into place by this fort tilt. And because it locks them into place, if they're holding out, like, they, like the computer's holding out, right? It's not letting you go until the move finishes, for the most part. It's a multi-hit, so sometimes this shit can go wrong. But for the most part, it won't let you go. And because it's not letting them go, that is enough for people who are human to be like, okay, DI out isn't working. Let me try holding in. And when they hold in, I get Nair and Dare and all these other types of blender shit now. So it's like, even when you hold out, I can still get down to it, right? Uh, I used to do this a long time ago, but I stopped doing it and I completely forgot about it. But it's so good. I don't see a lot of Sylvanas doing it. Um, neutral B seed, low percent early combos is so good. So the thing I like about Neutral B so much is the fact that um, Sylvanas' tail, this is an attack, right? But Sylvanas' tail during its entire attack has no hurt box. Uh, sometimes when you play Sylvanas long enough, you'll start to realize that you're some of your combos have enough wiggle room for your opponent to try to sneak out certain attacks, right? Um, especially with like certain positions and like the only way you can reach that position is gonna get you like in a trading scenario. So it's nice to be able to like be reverse and angle neutral be like this and have your tail not even be fuck withable and then basically in a sense with punish or counter their attack because they'll go through your tail and then the seed will hit them and then you'll do 8 damage and then continue the vortex and the blender. That was so sick. I love the the neutral B special route combo routes. I swear they open up so many different routes because the the hit stun's actually pretty good on this move and the the end lag is actually not terrible so like you actually get a lot of things off of this projectile like look at that and then keep pressuring because you got to remember your opponent's not expecting this a lot of times uh it's faster to actually throw the seed like like short hop seed or full hop seed than it is for Sylvanos to delay his jump double jump and up air to get to like the peak height to up air up here it's faster to just throw a seed it's, and it also goes higher. You can also hold up and it goes even higher. So as a combo extender, it's so good. Like, look at this. Like, it's insane how like how high and how much it covers in the middle of a combo. So I want to end this video off by just saying Sylvanas' combo game is one of the deepest in the game because he's the only character that really has to manage his own weaknesses in terms of blind spots as he's comboing you. Because you can't pick certain routes for Sylvanos because they'll end in a way where the next hit is so minus where you're kind of putting yourself in a bad spot. And so you kind of have to do these like randomly good, ex like high execution things to make sure like they don't stay like in a in that bad spot or you keep yourself constantly out of that, oh, they're not overlapping me. A lot of his moves have a lot of end lag to balance out the fact that they have a lot of range. So. If you whiff, you, you will be heavily punished, and it will be like as easily as you got your own combo as Sylvanos, you can have that effortlessly be turned into your opponent's combo solely because you didn't cover a tech roll in, um, or or respect that they could tech roll in, and now they're they tech rolled in behind you, and now they're on top of you with better hitboxes, better moves up close than you do. And again, you're not good at trading. They are, for, for the most part. Most like, if, if, like let's say Forest Burn just fucking down smashes and I fucking jab. Like, my down smash is gonna, you know, even come out that fast. But like, my moves are not going to trade with that very well, or even have the frame data to even come out to trade with that at all. So that is why it's so risky sometimes to to do certain uh, routes with Sylvanos. Because if you are lazy at the wheel and don't cover the blind spot, you'll just you'll just you know get opened up. Um, and so that's why Sylvanos' combo game is so deep because not only is he comboing you like every other character But he's also worrying about his own hitbox weaknesses as he's comboing you Which is so sick though when you pull it off because the character is so cool <laughs> and the it just <laughs>
<laughs> I can talk about this character all day. Like, th the stuff he has to do to keep the combo going is so incredible. Like, aerial side Bs are so crazy. Howl is so good at catching people on plats even. Like, just the fact that I can do... 23 is good. Look at that. Like, I still... I've been using Howl like that. I've been using Howl like how Orcanes use Bubble Pop and when they combo you or how Maples use Lily. It has, the ceiling on this character has n it's not even close to being reached in my opinion. But but it is that gameplay or that that combo game of using moves with Sylvanos that that, that play around your weakness as you com combo them is some of the most fun I've ever had in a fighting game. Cause, cause he's so hard. I like that. Like Sylvanos is not bad. I think, I think people can conflate bad with hard. Sylvanos is just hard. Everything he has is hard because he's not. He doesn't give you anything for free outside of like a few things. And every other character is giving you many free things. But I think the ceiling on Sylvanos is the trade-off. He has such a high ceiling on what he can do to you. Also. I've been doing um, side B turn around up tilt. I always wanted to be able to turn this move around, right? I could never turn it around. I was like, how do you, how come Crack can do this and then Rar out of it? How come Edelus can do dash attack, which makes even less sense, and then Rar out of the dash attack? Like, how are you turning around? So I was like so confused why Sylvanos could never, like, all, even on hit, turn around uh, into like a back air, right? Or something like that. But then I started realizing I can just do this. I, I can turn around up tilt. How have I never known I can just turn around up tilt? Like, this is what I'm saying. This is why I'm the worst Sylvanos. How did I not notice? I played you too long to not know I could do any of these things. Oh, wait, up air one. So, up air one for Sylvanos is literally a uh, signs tap. Like, the, the little taps that replace your knockback. Like, this is so good, but you can do it up air. Like, his up air is, is one of his best combo moves because at low percents, it has an enormous amount of hit stun. And it doesn't have a lot of knockback, so it's like this. Nair. Like, na the fact that it combos, and I can't tell you how good it is that up air 2 combos in a Nair at low percent like this. Like, it sends them so high perfectly. So, it, you can do Nair and an up air. Okay, now I got Nair, and I get down air, and I get side B. Like, look at, like, look at what I, I said side B, but I meant the forward air, but yeah. Like, you get so much off of up air. Up air is insane. Like, this is his best, one of his best combo moves. Look at that hit stun. It's like Forest Burnt up air. Yo, Donovan, I'm recording the YouTube video. What's going on? Don sign kicking them out just like he Jackie Chan. Uh, I'm not from planet Earth. I was pulling up in the UFO abducting any nigga who thinking that he gonna toe to toe. Oh! <laughs> I called GameStop to trade my PS4 yesterday. You know what they told me? That nigga said thirty-five dollars. So yeah, this this up air one sign tap straight up broken. You you just down there? No, stop moving. Look at that di change. You know how much that messes with people's heads? Down there, in there, down there. Up air one. Stop the knockback. It's so good because once you stop the knockback, you can do something else because they're not going anywhere anymore. You you completely canceled out their momentum with with up air one. Uh, I know my opinions on this character have changed a lot over the years from he's good to he's horrible and it's it was he's horrible for a while don't get me wrong it was it was stuck on that for a while but then as I got better as a player it, the opinion of him has shifted into something more positive where no I know he can do it like Sylvanos is he's honestly co so complete in the sense that he has everything he's ever needed to to act well not ever needed but he has currently everything he's ever needed to to succeed and be like a tournament threat and just be broken like he's so good so yeah that was a lot to just say sylvanos is really good if you watch tech roll in all right guys this has been right earlier peace out hope you guys learned something too have a good day bye yeah, by the way, they call me Rottweiler. I don't catch L's. Oh, nah, I'm not the umpire. Bombs on deck. Yeah, no, this not satire. All y'all go.